just one moment. It is a pleasure and a privilege to welcome each of you to this Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. This afternoon, we are happy to host the International Federation Puere Cantores. Founded in 1944 as an element of musical beauty in the church, a work of Christian education, and apostolic activity serving the liturgy, the Puere Cantores Federation is composed of several hundred choirs actively present in 35 countries, encompassing nearly 40,000 young singers. This afternoon, we are privileged to have 1,000 of those voices with us, hailing from nine different countries, Canada, the Democratic Republic of Congo, France, Germany, India, Italy, Poland, Switzerland, and the United States. I'm delighted to welcome the President of the International Federation Puerto Cantores, Monsignor Robert Trala, the Chairman of the Board of Directors for the American Federation Puerto Cantores, Father Thomas Franzman, Mr. Patrick Flehive, the President of the American Federation Puerto Cantores, Ms. Jan Schmidt, the Executive Director of the American Federation Puerto Cantores, as well as the conductors, musicians, singers, their family and friends, and each and every one of you to this Patronal Church of the United States. The Federation participated in Mass at St. Matthew's Cathedral this past week, and afterwards someone commented, it was phenomenal. So while the Mass is always a phenomenal experience, I am confident that the presence of Puerto Rican tourists will truly enhance our worship this night. As I conclude, Allow me to express a special word of welcome to Cardinal Donald Wuerl as the celebrant and homilist for this afternoon's Mass. Cardinal Wuerl is the Archbishop of Washington and Chairman of the National Shrine Board of Trustees. His eminence also has a very strong singing voice, so if any choir is in need of a support, you might want to list the services of the Cardinal. Welcome, Your Eminence. Welcome, one and all. Monsignor Rossi. Thank you. Thank you for your very, very gracious welcome to all of the Puere Cantores who gather here in the Basilica. And thank you for your gracious hospitality as we come together for this Mass. We are truly grateful. And now let us stand. And let us begin as we wish to start everything in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised a fallen world filled with faithful and holy joy, for those you have rescued from slavery to sin and bestowed the gift of eternal gladness, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lecture du livre d'Isaïe Réjouissez-vous avec Jérusalem. Exultez à cause d'elle, vous tous qui l'aimez. Avec elle, soyez pleins d'allégresse, vous tous qui portiez son deuil. Ainsi, vous serez nourris et rassasiés du lait de ses consolations et vous puiserez avec délice à l'abondance de sa gloire. Voici ce que dit le Seigneur. « Je dirigerai vers elle la paix comme un fleuve, et la gloire des nations comme un torrent qui déborde. Vous serez comme des nourrissons que l'on porte sur son bras, que l'on caresse sur ses genoux. De même qu'une mère console son enfant, moi-même je vous consolerai. Dans Jérusalem, vous serez consolés. Vous le verrez, et votre cœur se réjouira, vos membres, comme l'herbe nouvelle, seront rajeunis, et le Seigneur fera connaître sa puissance à ses serviteurs. The word of the Lord.
Lesung aus dem Brief des Apostels Paulus an die Galater. Brüder, ich will mich allein des Kreuzes Jesu Christi, unseres Herrn, rühmen, durch das mir die Welt gekreuzigt ist und ich der Welt. Denn es kommt nicht darauf an, ob einer beschnitten oder unbeschnitten ist, sondern darauf, dass er neue Schöpfung ist. Friede und Erbarmen komme über alle, die sich von diesem Grundsatz leiten lassen und über Israel Gottes. In Zukunft soll mir niemand mehr solche Schwierigkeiten bereiten, denn ich trage die Zeichen Jesu an meinem Leib. Die Gnade Jesu Christi, unseres Herrn, sei mit eurem Geist, meine Brüder. Amen. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, 
go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The 72 returned rejoicing and said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, I join Monsignor Rossi in welcoming all of you to this magnificent Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Regularly, I have the privilege of celebrating Mass in this, in this glorious and cavernous Basilica. And sometimes there are crowds as large as we have here today. In fact, very often. But when you, look, when you look at this particular congregation, what do we see? From, from this pulpit, I see the faces of young people from different countries speaking various languages, blessed with so many different traditions. But you're all here, united in one faith, and raising your voices to God in song. In reflecting on the International Congress for Pueri Cantores, it was noted that this entire idea included at its founding the concept that children throughout the world would join together and would sing the glory and the peace of God. Well, look around. Look around at this magnificent basilica made all the more wonderful by your presence. And what I see from here are the young citizens of the world, young disciples of Jesus. And you're here. You're here to manifest not only the gift of your voices and music. You're here to manifest a unity in faith that brings people from so many countries, so many lands, so many traditions, speaking so many languages together as one. How, how is it? How is it that this happens? What brings us together? The realization that we really are part of God's family. A number of years ago, I was standing in the back of church at the end of Mass, and I was greeting people as they were leaving, and a family came out of church, and one of the members of the family was about six or seven. And he said to me, why why do you call us brothers and sisters? You're not my brother. 
And I said, well, spiritually, I am because we're all part of God's family. We've all received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, he looked back at his mother, and she nodded that I was right. And he then looked at me and said, that's cool. I didn't know that. But isn't that true? Isn't that what brings us together? What unites us is our faith, but there's more, there's more tonight in this basilica because what brings you here is the special gift you have, a beautiful voice, a beautiful voice that you join with others in singing God's praise. Your presence here in the capital of the United States just as your presence in Congresses in the past all over the world highlights how important sacred music is, how important music is in manifesting and lifting up the human spirit, the human heart, and how important music is to worship because music touches another whole dimension of our lives. We know things with our intellect, with our mind, but we also experience things with our senses. We hear words, that's why we had the readings. We smell the incense that we used. We see the color in the flowers, in the vestments, in your robes. And we hear music. And all of this comes together so that we can give glory to God and as the gospel said, manifest his kingdom, our unity in faith and his kingdom. There's a great difference between a beautiful voice and a choir. A choir with so many different voices comes together so that all those voices can blend and bring about music, a song, that is far richer than any one voice. If, if you look up at any of these domes and you see all the mosaic, those of you who are seated directly under the mosaic, the redemption dome, you see all that color. Would anyone want to hazard a guest? It's, they're all made of little pieces of glass mosaic. How many pieces of glass do you think are in that redemption dome? Anyone want to guess? How about this young fellow here? Five million? Five million. You're very close. You're very close. Two million. Two million. You were very close, and when we get the big one done here, it will be five million. But we have to wait for Monsignor to have enough collections to do that. <laughs> but each one of those pieces, each one of those pieces is a beautiful piece all by itself. But when you put them all together, you get that magnificent dome. That's, that's what Pueri Cantores is all about. All of you, individually, each one of you has a beautiful voice. Each one of you has a beautiful soul. But when you put all those voices together and you come together, something very beautiful happens. It's not just great music. It's a testimony to how the whole world can actually live in peace, in harmony, and speak with the voice of God's love and God's peace. And that's what the kingdom of God is all about. That's what we listen to in the gospel today. When you're combined, all of your voices together, you help everyone else lift their heart to God. And when you do that, God is just all that much more present to all of us. Together then, 
we are all blessed with what you bring, not only to this Mass, but what you bring as a witness to the world. Jesus said, tell them peace is with you. The kingdom of God is here. But someone has to say it, and someone has to witness it, and someone has to be that voice, that song of peace. When you sing, remember, you're not only giving glory to God, you're part of a great Christian prayer that says someday we'll all, we'll all be together singing the glory of God when his kingdom is realized. But you, you're the messengers today, young but important. Each one of you with a gift, but all of you together with a great gift. A gift that sings the glory of God, lifts people's hearts to realize the kingdom is near and recognize just how possible it is for there to be peace among people. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful gift of song you bring. And may God simply continue to bless all of you and make all of you all the more confident that in your voices, in your song, in the beauty you bring to the world, you are truly reflecting God, his kingdom, his peace, and his love. God bless you.
united as one family in faith, let us now place our needs before the Lord. That the Church's witness to Christian virtue during this year of faith may awaken the gift of faith in those who do not yet believe in the Gospel message. That world leaders will have a greater respect for the sanctity of marriage and family, freedom of religion, and the dignity of all human life, especially in our own country. For our nation, as we celebrate the anniversary of our independence, that God will continue to guide us in the ways of peace and freedom. That by the prayers and support of families, many will hear God's call to the priesthood and religious life. benefactors for the intentions of those who come on pilgrimage to the national shrine and for all the needs we hold in our hearts. That all of our family and friends who have died may be judged worthy to enter into the eternal reward prepared for them in heaven. Almighty Father, listen to our prayers and pour out your blessings upon us. May the gifts you give us lead us to share forever in your glory. Through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and try The praise of the Lord is for the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your wonderful works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained it for your own. Listen to the prayers of his family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus.
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Grant, we pray, O God, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Your Eminence, on behalf of Puri Cantores, I would like to thank you for your hospitality, your warmth, your sincere support for our mission sings to us. Monsignor Rossi, I would like to thank you for the wonderful hospitality of the Basilica Shrine of the, of the Immaculate Conception, the hospitality, the cooperation, the enthusiasm that we received has been nothing short of magnificent. I would like to thank all the directors and all of the people of the American Federation of Puri Cantores who have gathered to make this a reality over the last two years. All of the choirs from all over the world that are here, the national presidents of Puri Cantores and representatives from all over the world, thank you. And most of all, I would like to thank our director for today, Paul French, and our organist, Dr. Peter Latona, for their tremendous efforts. And anyone that I've left out, thank you. The grace, my friends, in every man's life, there is time to start and to finish their work. Today, at the Basilica of Blessed Virgin Mary, we are experiencing the end of another international congress in the history of Puri Cantores Federation. We will leave the Washington city filled with God's grace and hope, enheartened and reassured that our evangelizational activity through music has sense, as the Church teaches us that music is her great treasure. My friends from United States, Puri Cantores and India, His Holiness Pope Francis said recently that if we do not complain, we are still young. And this is our strength, the youth and hope of Church you embody. Return to your home with hope and full of joy from faith you carry in you. Liebe Chor singen aus der Schweiz und Deutschland. Wie gut, wenn, wenn Brüder zusammen sind, hier und jetzt im Gebet, in der Freude und in wegen der Hoffnung und in der Verfehlung des Glaubens. Diese Worte haben sich ist in diesen ein paar Tagen in Washington bewahrt heitet. Komm zurück nach Hause, wollen werde, die ihr hier erlebt habt. Cher Choris de France et de Canada Quebec, notre espoir est et confirmé encore une fois, et Jésus-Christ, il est notre chemin, notre vérité et notre vie, notre chemin de la foi, qui se traduit par l'évangélisation du monde à travers la musique qui mène jusqu'à Dieu. 
est toujours notre devoir au sein de l'Église. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Carissimi piccoli cantori dall'Italia, non è un caso che durante tutto il tempo del nostro congresso in America ci accompagna San Domenico Savio nelle sue reliquie. Anche voi, come lui, vi date tanto da fare per curare la bellezza della liturgia e non vi rassegnate facilmente. La musica è una bellissima veste per le celebrazioni liturgiche e proprio voi, nelle vostre comunità, state creando questa bellezza. Che il buon Dio vi benedica. Tornate felici nella vostra casa e pieni di speranza. Dio è con voi. I tak già ve, cohani pueri cantore spolski. Kongres w Waszyngtonie się kończy, ale nie kończą się nasze ewangelizacyjne misje przez muzykę. Niech bliska kanonizacja Jana Pawła II, o której słyszymy, jego wstawiennictwo przed Bogiem, niech nam zawsze towarzyszy. Niech Bóg was błogosławi. Bezpiecznie wracajcie do domu. I declare that 38th International Congress of Puri Cantores in Washington closed, inviting you at the same time in July 2014 to the International Congress Puri Cantores in Paris. God bless you. And as we conclude this wonderful celebration, let us now ask God's blessing on all of us. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.